Today we are going to learn about scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way of writing very large or very small numbers. A decimal number is written in scientific notation when a smaller version of the number is multiplied by a power of 10. A power of 10 is 10 multiplied by itself a certain number of times. For example, this number can be written in scientific notation like this. Where 65 is called the significant or mantissa. 10 is the base and 7 is the exponent. As we can see, scientific notation is useful when you want to write a number that has many zeros in a shorter form. Both 650 million and 65 times 10 raised to the power of 7 have the same value, just shown in different ways. To write a large number in scientific notation, the first step is to count how many consecutive zeros are at the end of the number. These zeros are called trailing zeros. In this number, there are seven trailing zeros. The second step is to delete all those zeros, leaving only the number 65. The last step is to multiply this number by 10, raised to the power of 7, the number of trailing zeros that the number originally had. So we can conclude that scientific notation is simply a special way of writing numbers. Let's look at another example. First, we count the number of trailing zeros. It has 11 trailing zeros. Then, we delete all those zeros, leaving the number 102. Finally, we multiply it by 10, raised to the power of 11, the number of trailing zeros we deleted. A number can be written in scientific notation in many ways. For example, 2500 can be written like this. Or like this. Or like this. In normalized scientific notation, the exponent n is chosen so that the value of m remains between 1 and 10. Thus, 2500 is written as 2.5 times 10 raised to the power of 3. This form allows easy comparison of numbers, since numbers with bigger exponents are larger than those with smaller exponents. Let's see an example. Write this number in normalized scientific notation. The first thing we can notice is that this number has four trailing zeros, which means we will have a 10 to the fourth power, multiplied by 45, the number without the trailing zeros. And this is how we write the number in scientific notation. But if what we want is a normalized scientific notation, we must do an extra step. As we said before, in normalized scientific notation, the first coefficient, in this case 45, must be a number greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. Therefore, 45 does not apply. So what we have to do is to shift the decimal point to the left until we have a number between 1 and 10. As we all know, the decimal point in the number 45 is right after the 5, we just don't need to show it. If we shift it one place to the left, we will get 4.5. And 4.5 is a number between 1 and 10. But since shifting the decimal resulted in a number that is 10 times smaller than before, to compensate and keep the value the same, we need to increase the exponent of 10 by 1. So instead of 10 to the 4th power, we will get 10 to the 5th power. Let's look at another example. This number has five trailing zeros, so we remove them, and we get 204 times 10 to the fifth power. But 204 is greater than 10, so we have to shift its decimal point two places to the left to get 2.04. Since we shifted the decimal point two places to the left, we increase by two the exponent of 10. And this is the result.
To convert a number in scientific notation to a decimal number, we have to perform a simple multiplication between the first coefficient and the power of 10. And this is a very simple multiplication, because a power of 10 can be written as the digit 1, followed by a number of zeros, determined by the exponent. For example, 10 to the third is equal to 1000, the digit 1, followed by three zeros. 10 to the fourth is equal to 10,000, the digit 1, followed by four zeros. 10 to the first is equal to 10, the digit 1, followed by one zero. Therefore, this notation is equal to this which is equal to this number. Convert 300 in scientific notation. Convert this number in scientific notation. Convert from scientific notation to standard notation. Convert 41,000 in scientific notation. Convert 2 in scientific notation. Convert from scientific notation to standard notation. Convert this number in scientific notation. Convert 10 in scientific notation. Convert from scientific notation to standard notation. Convert from scientific notation to standard notation. All right. That is the end of this video. I hope you understood everything, and I see you again in the next video.